Hey guys, P. Dave. I'm at the park. I just thought I'd do a little video. Uh, not too much going on. Getting a lot of remote neural manipulation and stuff like that. And, and pretty much harassment all day. Uh, you know, you know what's funny is, you know, I've talked about this a couple years ago where, you know, where, um, you, um, you know, I, I wonder how, you know, how they get the word out to the gang stalkers on where you're going, you know, um, I don't know if they do like a mass text, I don't know, I don't know how it works, you know, when I went camping, um, it was about 60 miles away from the city I live in, um, you know, and, and my van was low on oil, so I thought, well, I'm gonna go to the auto parts store in Moose Lake, you know, 60 miles away, and uh, get some oil. You know, I'm gonna go buy some oil. Uh, you know, buy a quarter of oil. Um, you know, and it's amazing. It's amazing because, um, you know, I made the decision in like a split second. You know, I was probably like five minutes away from the auto parts store. And I went into the auto parts store and they had a group of perps waiting in the auto parts store. It was it was crazy, you know, because they always do something to let me know they're perps. You know, they always bang or stomp their foot or something. And one guy did stomp his foot uh, when I was leaving, you know. Um, you know, they always do something to let me know they're perps, you know, and stuff. And uh, it's just, it blows me away, uh, the network of people. You know, how do they find these people? How do they recruit these people? You know, I mean, how do they recruit them? Do they put an ad on Craigslist? Or, you know, what do they do? Do they go to the malls and go to Walmart and recruit people? Or, you know, what do they do to recruit these people? You know, I mean, they, they use beautiful women. You know, I mean, I had no idea we had so many pretty women in this town until this program you know i don't know where they find these gorgeous women you know to perp you it just amazes me you know and it reminds me of uh i seen uh i think it was an interview of dr duncan he said that he did a little experiment he he placed an ad on craigslist um and the ad said something like you know i'll, I'll pay you 12 dollars an hour to harass people and he said by the end of the day his mailbox was full you know it just it's it's crazy it's just what people will do for money it's just amazing you know um i i don't know if these people ever think about being next you know because they might be next someday you know and stuff but um you know another thing i want to bring up um, there's a narrative in this community, you know, by the leaders and stuff like that, that's saying, um, you know, they, they talk about how we should relay our messages, you know, and, and they talk about how we should be professional when we tell people about this program or even present ourselves to other people. We should stay, you know, be professional. We should be professional on our videos and all this stuff. Um, you know, <laughs> it, it blows me away because you're being tortured and you're being hurt. And there's a good chance, a good chance that they're giving you brain damage in this program you're fighting for your life and, you, and people expect you not to be mad not to be angry and keep this passive like stone-faced um, you know be like a stone-faced person where you have no feelings and stuff and and um, you know when you're when you're telling your story or telling parts of your story or telling parts of this program and what they're doing to you and all this stuff um, you're being hurt you know physically and psychologically hurt by these weapons and these people and these gang stalkers 
and people expect you to show no emotion be completely professional and all that stuff you know it it, it just it, it bothers me that people expect expect that you're being hurt you're fighting for your life and people expect you to be like well you know like a robot well I'm getting remote near monitoring and blah 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 and that's it yeah, my dog's crying um you know so I'll have to go pretty soon but you know so so it blows me away that people expect you to be like this robot and be like and show no emotion show no anger show you know showing showing that you're not mad and all this stuff um, when you're being hurt so bad by these weapons you know it's like I, I think we're sending the wrong message out there I'm not saying go crazy and you know be like ah, you know I'm not saying that at all you know try to hold it together and all that stuff but you are being hurt in and, and it's unnatural not to show emotion and people are like well just be passive and you know and just don't show any emotion be professional and all you know it's like are you kidding me are you really kidding me right now you know um you know i think that's the wrong message to send and especially the wrong message to send when you are talking to the public because the public is gonna say well you don't look like you're being hurt by anything you know it, it you know it's it's you know that's the narrative of this community that people are spreading around because they're robots and they got to repeat everything the leaders say and all this stuff you know because people can't think for themselves <laughs> you know <laughs> come on you guys you got to start thinking for yourself you know let it happen naturally don't try to hide your feelings you know I mean you should be able to cry you should be able to be angry you should be able to be you know just because you're angry that doesn't mean you're violent you know get that out of your head you know you're being hurt with weapons you're fighting for your life and people just expect you to be like yeah well I'm being hit blah 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 you know it just it bothers me you know I think it's the wrong message to send to people you know because people the general public are they're gonna look at you and they're gonna be like well I can't tell anything wrong with you I can't tell that anything's wrong with you you seem to be holding up well you seem professional all this stuff you can't be getting hurt that bad you know I mean come on you guys the narrative half of these people are perps that are spreading this narrative you know so I just want to say that you know you guys should feel do whatever you know let it come naturally all these feelings don't bottle them up and you know and you know I mean that's the worst thing you can do is bottle your feel feelings up and not let them out you know and stuff because then, then it will turn into anger you know and stuff so anyway i'm gonna cut this off my dog's crying uh hope you guys are doing good and staying safe out there and i'll talk to you later